Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make this bohemian crochet bunting. Here's some awkward footage of me posing with the bunting just to show you how long it is. In this tutorial, I'll be using some worsted weight cotton yarn, a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, and a piece of cardboard for making tassels. Let's get right into the pattern. Make a slip knot and chain four. Slip stitch in the first chain that you made. This will create a circle. Chain two to start row one. Do three double crochet in the circle. Chain three. Make another three double crochet in the circle. Chain three one more time. Do three double crochet in the circle. This will be the last set of double crochet for this row. To finish this row, I'm going to do a chain one and then work a half double crochet into the first double crochet of the row. I accidentally went into the chain two, but then I realized I messed up and went right into that first double crochet. Chain two to start row two. Work three double crochet into the first chain space. I'm working these double crochet around the half double crochet that I did at the end of row one. Chain one and make three double crochet in the next chain space. Chain three. Do three double crochet in the same chain space that you were just working in. Chain one, then make three double crochet in the next chain space. Chain three and work three double crochet in the same chain space. Chain one and work three double crochet in the next chain space. Chain one, then make a half double crochet in the first double crochet of the row. Chain two to start row three. Make three double crochet in that first chain space. Chain one and work three double crochet in the next chain space. Do another chain one and another three double crochet in the next chain space. Chain three and make three more double crochet in the same chain space. Chain one and make three double crochet in the next chain space. Do a chain one and three double crochet in the next chain space again. Chain three. Work three double crochet in the same chain space.
chain one and make three double crochet in the next chain space. Again, chain one and do three double crochet in the next chain space. Chain one and do a half double crochet in the first double crochet of the row to finish off row three. Cut your yarn and finish off the triangle. I'm only weaving in one tail, which is the one at the center of the triangle where I first started crocheting. Here is the finished granny triangle. I'll be adding tassels to each triangle. First I'm cutting a long piece of yarn. You can set this aside for later. Now I'm wrapping my yarn around a piece of cardboard 10 times. Make sure that your cardboard piece is as long as you'd like your tassel to be. Cut your yarn. Slide the yarn off of the cardboard and grab the longer piece of yarn. Thread the long piece of yarn through all of the yarn loops that you just made. Double knot that yarn really tightly to keep all of the loops secure. Cut through the bottom of each loop. Trim your tassel so that each piece of yarn is even. Get your triangle and place it so that the wrong side is facing towards you. Not the tassel around a chain space. I'm doing it around the bottom chain space where we finished off the triangle. This way I'll be able to finish off that last um, crocheted tail without having to sew it back in. Trim the tassel one last time and it's ready to go. I'm going to show you how I connect each of the triangles. Starting off by chaining 12. Make 15 single crochet across the triangle. Chain 12 again. Repeat this process until all of your triangles are joined together. You should have 12 chains at the end of your bunting. To put it all together, Add a tassel at the end of your bunting. I'm just slip stitching it through and knotting it around to make sure it's secure. I've done this on both sides and I trim them to make sure they're even. Your bunting should look a lot like this one when you're finished. Check the description box down below for a link to the free pattern on my blog. Thank you so much for watching.